Hey guys, welcome to the next lesson. Well, this lesson might be a little bit annoying, but what I like to do with the outros is synchronizing the animation with the feeling of the music. Let me show you an example here. When I hit play and check out this outro now, As you see, the music has a few bumping sections where it would look definitely better when the animations would be intact with those bumps. So I will try to adjust the animations and, and it takes a little bit of time. You have to do it on your own because after you insert the music, it isn't mandatory, but I just open the animation pane and shift those animation. I delay it back and forth here in the timing section. If I am not accurate, I go and edit manually with a 60 or even 63 just to move it slightly around and every time I change the timings I just go ahead, I press play and I check did I change it properly, do I need to make it a little bit back or forward and after a few minutes let me show what the result will be. And a quick tip here, you can simply use the animation pane to preview the, this section. After I press on the music and press play from, the animation will start and I will see how it progresses. Let me show you an example. Okay. The next bump. And the next bump. So the last bump is about here. So I immediately know that I have to, to delay it a lot. For example, it had to be here. Okay, I do have a finished animation. Now watch, how does it look? Yeah, I think it's a little bit better, a little bit polished and some touch of uniqueness is added up. So let's proceed and work now with the timing. 